Sometimes you hit that fork in the road. And on one side, there's responsibility, there's accountability. It's everything you should do, right? And then you have the other side. It's fun, it's exciting, it's exhilarating. You get to cross something off your list you've wanted for a long time as a sneakerhead. Well, maybe not even long, okay? Let's just put it like this. You want the shoe. You missed out, you took the L on retail and you missed and you really, really want it. And you know just the excitement you would have from getting this shoe. Well, actually getting two shoes. And I'm talking about the Air Jordan 1 Union and the uh, Off-White Presto. I'm having to make some decisions here and I don't just, yeah. Let's just stay tuned. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, AKA TJ2 Shrews Chains. You guys are viewing this on a Sunday, it's the very first Sunday in May, uh, which means Mother's Day is coming up soon. So please make sure that you are doing something for your mom if possible. I don't care if it's a card, you're calling her, you're FaceTiming her, moms are important. Please make sure you're doing something for mom. I already got mine taken care of, so y'all can't come after me, okay? But with today's video, let's just talk about some decisions, right? The most difficult decisions I think are when you are able, but then it comes down to, are you willing to make certain decisions you know that are in your best, uh, your, it's better for you long-term. You just don't want to hear that right now. That's what I'm facing. So we know that with everything going on, changes in the world, uh, the government decided to put off federal student loans and forbearance, and that's all I have. I never took out any private student loans. All I have are federal student loans, and I have all the protection that comes along with that as well. Well, they're in forbearance right now, which means I don't owe any payments on them for the next, what, what is it, like six months <laughs> close to. Um, there's also no interest accruing on it, right? So I could choose to not pay anything on those, right? I have that right. They've given me that option. I don't have to pay anything on those. And do you understand what that means? Do you know what that opens the door for? Let me tell you, okay? I missed out on two shoes. I really, really wanted, I was having conversations with friends about these shoes coming out. I wanted them. You know, I thought one would be an amazing birthday gift to myself. Did it happen? No, it didn't happen. So let's just go ahead and talk about the first one. It is the off-white Presto. Now I am actually a fan of all three colorways that came out. The original bone, the, it had the, uh, the, Cage is in bone, the upper is in black. I'm a fan of that. I am also a fan of the black, predominantly black pair and then the white pair. And I know the white pair you have to be very, very careful of. You need to make sure you are spraying that and you know, just being mindful of where you step because it is just an all white shoe, it can't get dirty. So yeah, I just, I wanted that didn't happen now presto since the dawn of time since it really was created has been one of the more comfortable shoes i do have the Ackman and prestos you guys have seen those on my channel and i had a bl black leather pair but i actually went ahead and gifted those to a friend so i don't have those anymore but i have the two Ackman and prestos they're very comfortable uh hands down you can wear those all day so when virgil decided to design or i should say deconstruct the Presto, big, big fan of the way he did that. And I like the deconstructed models anyway, right? I've bought vans that really have more of that deconstructed look. So it should be no secret that yes, I do like the off-white Presto. And I didn't get a chance to get that white one, certainly not for retail. And you can look at what the price is right now for it. It's up there, right? It's not a price that any of us ever just want to pay for a shoe. Now I've only had to pay an insane amount um, for, well, what I would say, like a higher amount. And it has been for collaboration shoes. And I do want this one. I do want this one, but that's not the only collaboration sneaker that I want. I also want the Air Jordan 1 Union. Now I'm not, I want both pairs, but let's just talk about the black toe pair, okay? So that is a sneaker that it released, what was it, like right before, right after my birthday, I think. Because my birthday is November 21st, and so this came out in 2018. What was it like? They had a release, I think, that might have hit like November 18th. And then I know there was one a few days later, I think like around November 24th, and I missed out. 
I really just feel like I didn't stand a chance in hell of being able to get the sneaker, but I missed out until this day. I'm actually still a little upset about it. I know I say move on from, from L's that you take, but I am still salty about it. And I just, if you've watched the live chat, you know that AJ and I have said, if people come to us with a reasonable price, we're ready to go ahead and just say, yes, let's make it happen. And this shoe is available. Now I'm simply showing you what the going rate or the market prices are at StockX. Uh, so those are the shots that you're seeing. And yes, I am well aware that a 3% processing fee has been tacked on to any purchase. This is the way I look at how things change in the market, especially when it comes to e-commerce or business. Um, businesses will make their decisions and as consumers, you need to make decisions. Your decision can either be to continue to shop or utilize that service or buy that product from that company, or it can be to take your business elsewhere. I don't think either one is wrong. I think it's all gonna be a personal preference of what it is that you choose to do. That is just simply how I feel about it. I. So there you go, because I know someone is going to ask. Um, I think you choose to shop and pay it or you choose to not shop with it and not pay it. Uh, I think it's very simple. I don't think that it needs to be complicated. So showing you what the market price is for these two shoes here, we're looking at about $1,900, right? When it's all said and done with shipping, with uh, taxes, with the processing fee added on for these two shoes, and do you understand right now, because I don't have to worry about student loans, I could just choose to go ahead and treat myself? Like just to, like that, that right there is how you could kick off summer. Kick off summer with these two pairs. And I'm somebody that believes in wearing my shoes, okay? I wear my off-white UNC ones and people are like, oh my goodness, you wear those? Yes, their shoes are meant to be worn. I would throw these straight to feet, okay? Just let you know, I throw them the feet, throw straight to feet. Uh, I would have outfits planned, all of that, you know. I would bring you everything that you expect on my channel. I would be ready, but is that the smartest thing to do? Um, I'm gonna say this, no. It's not, like you guys should know me, okay? It's not the smartest thing to do because you need to take advantage of whatever financial opportunity you are being given that's never gonna come along. We're never going to have a point in time really where the student loans, like the actual required payments are just frozen. Like you don't have to worry about them. Interest is frozen right now. And I don't even have high interest rates on my student loans. Now they do vary because I went through those periods where they weren't set, right? So you had some that were, at, you know, some were subsidized at 4.5, some were unsubsidized at 6.8. It really just depends. Um, there is no point in me consolidating, okay? Because once you consolidate federal student loans, you then lose the protection that comes along with federal student loans. And also the aggregate interest rate would probably not be lower or would probably still be lower than what it would be if I were finance. So I'm perfectly fine with just my federal student loans staying as they are. But what I plan to do is uh, all things staying status quo in terms of all of my streams of income is to actually pay down a student loan um, over the course of July and then pay off another one in October instead of treating myself. Okay. There, listen, there, there's so much of me that wants to just gift myself these shoes, okay? I've worked hard, I'm consistent, I mind my business, I drink my water, I do my workouts, I don't bother anybody, and I am you just, know. I'm a good person, okay? <laughs> I think that these should definitely be here in my home, on my on my table, on my on my table, on my countertop right now. Just, just presenting them to you, that's what I should be doing. Don't you think so? Hopefully you think so. That's exactly what I feel like I should be doing, but I'm not. I'm gonna do the responsible thing. And I think right now, if you have that ability to still pay on your student loans right now, do that as if those payments were still required. Now that's granted you have savings available or you are still able to save money because by you doing that, you're putting yourself in such a better position, right? Because once those loan payments kick back in and I am then required to start paying it, that minimum payment that I owe every single month will be lower because I'll have already paid down at least two student loans. That's my goal, to pay off one um, by the end of the July 
to pay off another one by the end of October. So I plan to do a check-in just to let you guys know, like, hey, I was able to do it. Hey, I was not able to do it. If something comes up, of course, there may not be a whole lot that I can do. I just may have to shift and readjust how funds are allocated, but I'm doing my best right now. Um, every single Friday this month, I've allocated money towards those student loans. I could have done whatever else I wanted to do. Okay, I could have paid early to have shoes uh, delivered here so you guys can see before they're released. That's not, that's not what I do. I'm going to do the responsible thing. I'm gonna do the thing that I believe is best for future me. And you know what? Those shoes, whether it's the Union One or whether it's the Off-White Presto, they will feel like such better decisions in terms of purchasing when I know that I've actually taken care of business first and then worried about pleasure, All right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, are you making the same decision in terms of being able to do X with your money, but instead you're choosing to do Y because it's the responsible thing to do? As always, at your age, know your shoe size. Peace.